Yes, this Pedia. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. In this quick, simple tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a proximity prompt highlight button thingamajigger. So basically, uh, when you walk up to an object, it's going to highlight it for you. Um, super simple tutorial. Um, if you're new to this channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. There's a lot of tutorials out there for you, but I don't know if you've seen this before. Um, it's actually much more simpler than probably the other ones that you've seen. Um, and I'm going to show you quickly, but yeah, so we're going to hop straight into studio. So once you get into studio, you guys, um, you're just going to go down, down down the description, look at the link below. Um, it's going to be a, uh, gear, uh, a model, um, and you'll grab that, which I will get for you right now. Yeah. So you're just going to grab this right here. Um, it's in the description, like I said, um, and you can download this. If you don't have to download this, I made an extension video. Um, you just use this pretty easy. Um, and, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, once you get this model, you can also just hit try in studio or, you know, hit get model. Um, once you get the model, actually it's super, super easy to use. Um, basically you're going to get it and import it either through your toolbox and my models or something like that, or, um, the download button in the model section. Um, and you're just going to put it into the starter player scripts. So just make sure it goes into starter player scripts. It's just going to be this little script and, um, it's going to look like this. So proximity prompt service and players um, basically what's going to happen is uh, once a proximity prompt is shown so prompt shown uh, basically all we're going to do is make a highlight adorney and we are going to uh, find that proximity prompt the area and we're going to create a new highlight um, there is a instance called highlight an uh, object um, highlight is also something you can use on a lot of things it's a new thing they added I think it just a bit ago actually um, but yeah, you got the depth mode, fill color, and transparency, and adorning and pairing. Um, so yeah, actually, if you want to make it a different highlight color, you can change that right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so um, we're going to set the adorning to uh, that uh, highlight adorning, which is going to be that proximity prompt part, basically. Um, and set the parent to players dot local player away for, away for child player GUI. So basically, we set it just to that player and them only. Um, and then, of course, uh, when the proximity prompt gets hidden, we're going to destroy the highlight. So, um, yeah, it's very simple. That's all you need. Uh, basically, yeah, now as I walk up to it, it's highlighted, as you can tell. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's actually really, really cool. Um, but, yeah, if I hold B, you can see that it's still highlighted, of course. Uh, but this can be used on your avatar games. It can be used on a lot of stuff. So, you know, do what you like to this. Um, so, I honestly think it's a really cool, like, addition for a lot of things so honestly i recommend it um and i'm gonna make a video actually just in a second here about uh how to make custom proximity prompts if you want to watch that feel free to watch that uh, but yeah you guys i hope you have a good one and um i will see you in the next 